Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is um, different from all my videos on my channel. It's the first time I will try to instill or instigate discussion. Also, uh, this video will be a little bit of uh, rant with my displeasure how energy market operates in Australia and um, I would like my viewers to help me understand how to navigate those channels better. So the whole idea of my channel is to help people out there with my personal experiences. And I think for the first time, even though I have uh, enough knowledge about um, electricity market in Australia, uh, and let's be specific in Queensland, I'm struggling to make right choices. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, exactly one year ago, I uh, installed new solar system on my roof. If you didn't see that video, I put video up um, on the screen above there. So uh, my system is um, it consists of 13.2 kilowatts of panels that feed in on three strings uh, generation into 10 kilowatt inverter which is a good way 10 kilowatt inverter and if you didn't see that video i put up there again and that inverter has capability uh, to shape my uh, generation to 5 kilowatts which is requirement in my state uh, which is queensland and i believe most of states, if not all states in Australia, for the single phase feed, uh, which is should be up to five kilowatts, and that is my system. So I spent quite considerable amount of money for my system. And if you would like to know details, please uh, direct message me through YouTube or other means. I just don't want to publish any details um, here because I may upset some installers and may um, promote my installer which I've got no affiliation with and I don't want to do so unless they wish um, to collaborate with me in some sort of way. So um, what happened until now? So last year when I installed system in my state you could achieve between 10 to 20 cents a kilowatt feed in from most of the providers. And it was quite significant. Uh, why is that? Because in non-peak time, uh, the consumption that the, most of the providers would charge you would be in Queensland, again, in Queensland, Australia, would be between 15 to 20 cents. So your feed in would be almost equal to your consumption. So that idea uh, indicated uh, if I'm not really worried about power outages, I don't need a battery. It's a huge expense. It's really hard to get return these days. So I decided to put bigger system and not to have battery. Um, as soon as I signed contract with my provider, the rate dropped to 15 cents and then to 12 cents. And my contract, as most of the contracts in Australia, they are locked for one year with a free exit from the contract. So at the moment, I'm locked into 15 cents feed in, which is a fair feed in, especially if most of the providers would sell electricity for 16, 20, 25 and more cents. And also it gives me opportunity to put investment on my roof, my own money with little subsidy and have some, I guess, financial security and some return of my investment. With the recent energy crisis in Australia and uh, poor elect electrical infrastructure, uh, feed in tariffs uh, plummeted. So at the moment, if you own the market and you would like to lock in your feed in tariff, it would be between zero to five cents. Would you believe that almost highest feed in tariff without any incentives, it's five cents. So let me put it in perspective. Uh, why my, my video is a bit of rant? Because um, some aspects of 
electricity charges you don't have any choice so for example what they call meter reading and delivery of electricity those are not negotiable that those things are charged on a daily basis whether you generate electricity or not so in my case i pay a dollar 20 a day for delivery of electricity that's infrastructure out there then i paid seven cents a day for solar meter reading and then approximately three cents a day i paid for imperfection of um, reading solar fit in so literally without using or supplying electricity market are already out of pocket for one dollar thirty cents so at night time because i don't have battery uh, I, I basically consume electricity and they know it and they charge you more for that time so let's say i'm trying to be more conservative at night time and my electricity consumption uh, varies between four to six kilowatt which is let's put it up to um i don't know um another 70 cents so without having better in my household with a huge system before i start selling my own electricity i'm out of pocket two dollars a day let's see how much electricity i need to generate and sell to at least have some sort of advantage of that so let's say today's feed-in tariff on average is five cents a kilowatt on a sunny non-cloudy summer day um, if you almost peak at your generation your generation will be close to on average 40 kilowatts a day so 40 kilowatts at five cents that's two dollars so my point is i put investment of a couple of thousand dollars in my roof and that's the biggest system i could afford actually not could afford there's not uh it's illegal to put any bigger system than i've got there i'm generating 40 kilowatts a day and yet i'm breaking even so uh, my rent is if our government um, trying to encourage us to go green to help environment and to put our money as an investment because they're not investing in other means enough to generate electricity what is incentive to me as a citizen in 2022 to put solar on a roof uh, I would say if I would need to put solar on today um, I don't think I would I mean I can calculate that I will pay two dollars a day for uh, compulsory charges and probably another two dollars a day for electricity consumption and I'll make sure that that amount of money that I spend on electricity would come from potential installation of solar system and you know if you think of this it will be just break even so why do I need to deal with installers and costs and put my money that could invest somewhere uh, and put on the roof um, of my house to I don't know for what so I'm just a little bit frustrated because uh, most of the people trying to help environment try to do the right thing also trying to secure their own um, bills electricity bills and yet uh, there is no environment or condition from other regulators or government or whoever to give us any incentive to do so so what is the uh, point of this trend um, at the moment um, i was trying to go through all options in the market and again i'm from brisbane, brisbane queensland in queensland what i can find without any incentive because i'm not uh, eligible for any incentive the best offering come from ago what the offering the offering to pay 14 cents a kilowatt fit in for first 10 kilowatts and then five cents after that so that, that that's the best offer i could find um let's talk about battery i um published video just recently about batteries and why i cannot put battery in so please uh, watch above and, and it's um i'll put link above there so the idea why i cannot put battery it's the system that i've chosen i maximize system to generate more power and my inverter is um, 10 like rated as a 10 kilowatt and it's illegal for me to put battery if my inverter is bigger than 5 kilowatt 
even though I shape my feet into 5 kilowatt in the system uh, kind of definition my inverter is 10 kilowatts I'm not sure how they do this but anyway I cannot put battery on so what I'm asking my viewers is can you please um, help me to understand if I'm missing something if there is a better offering on a market for people like me that are trying to feed in electricity do you find any better ways to at least break even or even I guess earn some money back on the investment that you put on your roof so um, I, I believe there's not right or wrong opinion about this I have to make my uh, my mind in next I think week and a half because my um, contract with AGO finishes uh, I think in a week and a half so I'm kind of pressed on time but um, I can see there's a quite significant engagement on my channel about electricity prices and versus solar panels so uh, here's an open question what should I do with system that I've got on the roof what options do I have what would you do in my in my shoes if you have a big system no ability to put battery and frustrated with fit in well thank you so much for watching uh, please feel free to comment subscribe and um, I don't know maybe even describe your story where you're at I would appreciate everything thank you so much for watching Greg from Brisbane Australia until next time